So today we are checking out some budget knives for the first time. And yes, I know I need a haircut, but how can I continue bringing you guys all this life-changing content if I'm worried about my hair? Let's get into these new knives. So we have the Sen Cut Mims to start it off. And the Sen Cut Mims, Pretty cool. It's definitely got a very useful design overall. And one thing I really appreciate about this knife is the multiple forms of deployment with a well-tuned detent. Because it's one thing for a company to tune a detent good for one deployment, but it's another thing for them to tune a detent for multiple deployments. So the lever from, or sorry, the leverage from the flipper tab is really, really good. You can see the center of the pivot is much lower than the height of the flipper tab. So the flipper tab nice and high compared to the center of the pivot which makes for really really good action then you have the deploy the whole deployment which is you know plenty it's got plenty of room it's easy to to get to and the detent is well tuned for it um, when it's locked up it's got solid, solid lockup, no side to side, no up and down. And the 9CR drop point blade is, we already know, one of the most useful blade shapes you can get on a pocket knife. It has a nice acute tip, so this is gonna be really good for precision and opening things up, while also being nice and slicey. They do a good job with their geometry too. So nice edge, nice uh, finger choil as well. So you can choke up, which is gonna, you know, second as a sharpening choil. Deep carry clip, it's not in set but it does have flat screws and it is reversible t8 hardware all the way around nice micarta yeah solid solid knife and you know sun cut probably has in their price range between like 40 to 50 dollars they probably got some the best knives you can buy between that price uh range but the next company I think is probably the best in the $20, uh, between $20 and $30. And that is Ganzo. So we have the Ganzo FH921 in D2 steel. And damn it, is this thing smooth. I mean, it is basically, it's damn near a guillotine. I mean, it is very, very smooth. Very well-tuned detent with the flipper tab. So it does have flipping action. Another drop point blade, so it's gonna be very useful. Not, in my opinion, as quite as useful as the last knife, just because the tip is a little bit higher. And I'm specifically talking about for EDC use. But it's nice and ergonomic. And, you know, it uh, has good access to the lock bar. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty useful design. It has a reversible deep carry clip. Eh, the screws are not flat, but it is inset and you can reverse it, like I said. All in all, super duper solid little budget knife and with amazingly smooth action. Like, it's surprising how smooth they get these knives. We do have one more Ganzo we're gonna check out and that is, and we'll do it really quick because we already had one of these on the channel, but I think it's their, basically their uh, answer to Mora knives. I'm not saying it's better than a Mora. I'm not saying Mora is better than this. I'm gonna say that uh, it's probably a little bit more expensive than a Mora. Mora's are like, let's look it up. Let's see what the price tag is on this. Cause I don't wanna say, say something that I, I don't know. Ganzo, the heck is the name of this? The G806. Why not just have a name? So the G806 is, it's only 8CR. Oh no, 16 bucks. Okay, 16 bucks. So not only is it competing with the, the more knife in design and ergonomics and probably use, but it also is going to compete with them with the price tag. So really budget price tag, a few different options of colors. This one is the green one. The rubberized handle is gonna be extremely comfortable. This is just gonna be an all around good little knife. Now it's not something premium or anything. It's only 15, 16 bucks and it's 8CR. So yes, you're gonna have to sharpen it often, but for a little camping knife, an outdoors knife, something to, to give your nephew on a fishing trip or camping trip, this thing is solid. And even for an adult, I don't mean it's only good for kids. I just mean it's gonna be something that you can just beat the tar out of and not really worry about. You know what, before we get to the next knives, let's talk about this package, which we have three more, or no, two more budget knives. So we have two more budget knives, but before we get into those budget knives, we have the Going Gear EDC Club box. And I wanna talk about it really quick because this one's a good one, like a really good one. So this is the premium package, but we have both the standard package, which is $60. So for 60 bucks a month, you would get the first knife. But if you get the premium package, which is $200, you'll get this whole box. So let's see what comes in it. 
Waka instant coffee. I don't know anything about this stuff. Just add water. It's some instant coffee, you know. Not that big of a deal. Um, but let's get to the knives because yeah, they got patches and stickers and stuff in here. We don't care about that stuff. We care about the knives. What knives do we have in here? So the first one is would be the $60 package. And guys, this is a really good deal. If you only got this knife, this is the little ace nimble, I think it's called. Yeah, the nibbler, sorry. The nibbler, the giant mouse nibbler. It is a little aluminum handle, N690 steel, beautiful little sheep's foot blade. This thing's gonna be so, so useful. The access to the lock bar is a little bit tight, but it's not hard. Like I can easily unlock it, so I'm not gonna complain about that. You can reverse flick it. It is only a two finger knife, but it's cool, man. Yeah, it's got aluminum scales, inset liners, steel liners, nice jimping on the lock bar. Uh, geometry and blade is beautiful. It has a reversible deep carry wire clip. As we know, wire clips are some of the best clips out there. I'm not sure what the backspacer is. I'm guessing it's aluminum. It yeah, I'm guessing it's aluminum. But yeah, N690 steel. You know, that's somewhat of a budget steel. But for what you're getting, you know, there's times, man, these guys are charging like crazy money for N690. And in this case, I think the normal price is like $100 for this. But for this, you're going to get for $60. bucks. let us see what it is, actually. So they say $95. So $95 is what it would be. And you would get the, the coffee with this and the uh the swag pack but we do have one more knife to get into so if you did the premium option which like i said i think the standard one's already a winner i i do think it's already a winner but you get the kubi premium monster dog in i think yeah m390 steel m390 steel you have this beautiful flamed ando finish and I know the look of this knife is a little bit ugly, <laughs> like a bulldog. It's literally, it looks like a bulldog. It's called the monster dog, but getting it in hand, I can't tell you how impressed I, I've been with, I have a couple of these, not only the budget option, but I also have another premium option. And it's so comfortable in the hand. The big old monster dog thumb studs are so easy to reverse flick. They're some of the easiest thumb studs to reverse flick. <clears throat> Excuse me, not just because they're big, but they have like this grippiness around the edge that looks really cool and man, does it work. You also have the thumb flick that also works equally as good. And there's just a very premium feel to this knife. Even like the way you open it up and you lock it up, slow rolling it, the way the lock bar engages, just everything about the knife all the way around, it, you can feel that they, they put a little bit extra love into this knife. And you know, for the $200 price tag to get this knife, plus the, the Ace Nibbler, holy cow, that, that's a really good deal. And then, you know, obviously you get the coffee and stuff, but you know, big deal. But the knives, wow. Let's see what they say. This So $174 just for this is what it would cost. And then the nibbler would be 95 bucks and all together, you get it for 200 bucks. I'm gonna say that's, that's, a, that's not bad. So especially compared to some of the other deals we've seen from these guys where it's like, you know, is it really that much better, you know? This is a good box, so I'm, I'm happy to see, because this is what makes me want to continue checking these out, is when you actually see something that I think is actually worth the money, where it's like, yeah, you're getting more for your value, right? Because you're not getting to pick them, right? They choose what's gonna be in the box, so you want it to be good, right? You don't want it to be like, man, I wouldn't have got these. These are good, this is a good box. So we have two more knives. Next one is the Kaiser Fighter, and it has a cancer ribbon on it. Now, I think breast cancer is pink ribbon, and then the purple ribbon is for other cancers. So it's, it's for cancer though. So it's called the Fighter for a reason, obviously. Um, 154 CM blade steel. It is very, very smooth, similar to like the bag lighters and and, you know, those knives that are just, whew, Kaiser does a really good job with the dropping action. Very, very smooth. Beautiful purple thumb studs. I do think it looks cool. I think the overall design is cool. Is that this is actually a charity inspired project I'm reading. And with every purchase of this knife, they donate a dollar to the American Cancer Society. So, you know, that is cool. 
Deep carry clip inset with flat screws, G10 scale, steel liner lock. The liner lock is very easy to disengage. It is very, very smooth, man. Wow. Great thumb stud action, too. Not only for the thumb flick, but also the reverse flick. It's going to be a full-size knife, but it's not too big. So it's more of a medium size knife. Not too big, but not small for sure. It is still a full-size knife, uh, but not a giant full-size knife. 154cm, great steel great action so yeah it's super well built and they always give you extra hardware and stuff so i really like that i like that it's got the inset clip with flat screws it's not reversible as far as the cancer ribbon goes you know i guess you know that that's for you to to, to make that choice you know because i could see why some people would want this but then i could also see why some people would be like you know, it's just not for me. So it just depends on you on that one. Um, but it's very well built. Next is the ST150. And this is a chonker. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. They do a good job with their actions. Holy cow, this thing is smooth. Great flipping action. Good access to the lock bar. It is smooth on the drop for such a... Uh, I, I want to call it a light blade because it's just... It's a chunky knife but the blade is not like a super heavy blade or anything so nice smooth action the handle is obnoxiously wide so what it winds up doing is it gives you a stubby knife that's actually comfortable in the hand like i could bear down on this pretty good it might be a little bit too wide for some people because you know just how wide it is in the hand it's almost like you're hanging onto a fixed blade in a way, but it, but it's still stubby though. It's a stubby knife. It's not a big knife at all. You know, I would say two and a half, maybe three inch blade. I'm not sure. I haven't checked it out yet. 14C 28 and steel. Love the steel. So good steel. And you know, it's easy for companies like this to heat treat that steel. Um, I'm not sure the price tag on this. Let's just check it out really quick. Might as well, right? This one is 30 well, oh, wow. So they have the, the ST153 that has a sheep's foot blade. It, it has a lower facing tip. I actually like that one, but it is a little bit different. And it looks like it's a top flipper, but it looks like it's a friction folder with a liner lock. Friction folder with a liner lock. I'm not sure. I haven't tried that one. So, but as far as this one goes, it does have a couple different burlap micarta options. You have green, brown, and black. This one's the black. Yep. And uh, 34 bucks, 34, 35 bucks. Eh, you know, I wish it was closer to 30, but you know, it's, it is 14 C. So it's not their D2. Uh, but I see they have another one, the one five, three, that's 30 bucks for, for 14 C. So I'd prefer to see it around, f you know, that price 30 bucks. Cause I think that's where Sativian, you know, for these materials is a really good price tag, but Hey man, th four more dollars four four or five more dollars. So anyways, solid knife. There you guys go.